Hello there, my name is Jennifer Roblin and I am the founder of Better Your Life Anxiety Management. Now in today's video, I wanted to talk about how we can manage stress and anxiety in the workplace. So this is a guide for managers and staff to see what are the best things that we can do to manage expectations. So stick around to the end because I've got some cool gifts that I want to share with you. And I'd really appreciate if you could like or subscribe to this video as it helps me spread the word out to more people and therefore I'm able to help more. So let's jump straight in. So some of the first tips that we can actually put in place and practice is lead by example. As a manager or a team player, the more we can practice um, our own or stabilise our own mental health, the more we can be there to support each other. So we need to be a collective and, and we've lost a lot of this due to, um, you know, a lot of us working from home now since lockdown and it's made a few changes in the way everybody works. So try to be there for each other, create a team and keep communication open so that there's plenty of people to talk to and talk about your feelings because that's really important. So whether you're talking in the work environment or in your home environment, it's really good to have somebody to talk to. Also manage your workload. Now, can you speak to your own manager to see how that's possible? What else can you be doing? Um, make sure that it's clear what work needs to get done by which deadlines. And if you're struggling, let somebody know, reach out and ask for help because something that you may be struggling with might be easier for somebody else and you can just swap skills and, and ask the questions. But if you don't ask for help, then it's not gonna come. Another tip would be to take regular breaks. Now, if you're a manager, I would absolutely encourage for your team to take regular breaks as well because people would be much more productive and focused on the tasks that they're doing if they're able to have a bit of downtime rather than just let the overwhelm build up and build up and build up. So encourage breaks. If they can go for a walk at lunchtime, somewhere outside would be ideal. On their own or with a colleague to talk to, it doesn't matter, but it's just getting outside, having some downtime, just so that you can just relax, just get that stress out of your system and walk it off. What can you do to promote a um, healthy environment? So the workspace that you're in, whether that's you're working from home or whether you're working in an office, what can you do to make that a little bit more um, relaxing for you, calming? If there's a lot of clutter around, could you tidy it up a little bit just so you feel more organized because your organized workspace will encourage a more organized mind. What, what resources can you provide? So if you are the manager of a team, what resources, do you have anything in the workplace that they can go to if they need to speak about anxiety or stress? Do you have any mental health advisors within there? What do you have that you can help support your team with? Because the stronger the team are, the more productive, the more work gets done, but more often than that, the, the fun increases. And when someone's enjoying their job and enjoying the team that they work with, productivity goes up. So there's just a few little tips that you can put in place to help manage workplace stress and anxiety. So I really hope you found that helpful. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button and like this video. And I invite you to go over to the description where you'll see some other resources that I offer for free. And you can have a little look and see what helps. I also have a free ebook all about managing anxiety and stress in the workplace. So feel free to download that. I hope this video has served you. Thank you.